Let's move on to the next question. So the equation of a curve is given to you by this. Now we can rewrite this now as 5 minus 8 power x minus 1. Now part 1, we have to show the equation of the normal to the curve at the point P is this. So let's find that. Now, to find the equation of normal, we understand that we have to first find its gradient. So to find gradient of normal, we have to find the gradient of tangent first because that's what we can find first. So this is simply dy by dx. That will be pretty easy. That will be 0 here. Then we have plus 8 x minus 2, 8 over x squared. Now dy by dx at the value of x equal to 2 right here, x and y, 2. That will be 8 over 4, that should be 2. Which means the gradient of normal have to be minus half. And the passing point, 2, 1, that is x value and y value, so y minus 1 over x minus 2, that will be minus half. Then we can try to cross multiply to see what happens. That will be 2y minus 2 minus x plus 2. 2y will be minus x plus 4. Or 2y plus x is equal to 4, shown as required. Now this normal meets the curve again at point Q, find the value of point Q. So now again, meet, cut, intersect means we have to solve a simultaneous equation. The curve is given to you by this equation. And we have x here. Uh, let's make y become subject. So y will be minus x plus 4 divided by 2. Replace on one side, you will have minus x plus 4 over 2 has to be 5 minus 8 over x. Uh, we can try to simplify. First, multiply by 2. You will have this. Then multiply by x to cancel on this one. That should be minus x squared plus 4x equal to 10x minus 16. Turn everything to one side, you will have x squared. We have 10 uh, minus 4 will be plus 6x minus 18. That will be 0. So we can factorize. That will be x, x. And 16 is 2 times 8. That will be plus 8 minus 2. x will be 2 and x will be minus 8. So here we have the two values of x, but now we know that already the normal meets the curve at when x equal to 2. We don't need this one, we need to find this one. So for y, it will be what? Replace back in the curve, that will be 5 minus 8 over 8, that will be 5 minus 1, that should be 4. The other passing point q will be minus 8, 4. This is, this is just p, it is given to you already. We don't need to refine this one, we just need to find q as follows. Now let's move on to uh, part 3. So find the length of PQ. So PQ, pretty easy. Uh, we have P given to you by 2, 1. And Q was found to be minus 8 and 4. Uh, so from this, so, okay, I think I made a mistake here. If the value of X is minus 8, that will be minus 8. And that should be 5 plus this, that should be 6. Right? Okay, there you go. Now we have the two values we need. We can find the length. The length will be square root. First we have to do this minus this. So minus 8 minus 2 will be minus 10 square. That will be 100. Plus 6 minus 1 is 5 square is 25. That will be 125. So the length of PQ will be root of 125. Or we can simplify, square root of that will be 11.2 units, correct to 3SF.